So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Yakuza 7 playthrough. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is a special night, and here's why. Because unlike the last month and a half that I've been grinding, it's time to finally try to make that grinding pay off by switching to our best jobs and heading back to the Super Dungeon. I want to see if we can make progress tonight. We have a prediction going. In the channel, people have wagered big channel points. Will I actually be able to make progress or not? If I can make progress, there's some points that will be divvied out. And if not, if we hit a hard wall and basically i got to grind more, well, then uh, that's also going to be some people winning and losing points. So, we'll see how it goes here. I was told, I was told, once you hit level 99, you basically have to take like one more job max. So, you have to have one maxed job and then maybe like one more job max. And then your, your stats should level to the point where you should be able to beat the dungeon. Don't know if that's true or not. We're going to find out. Let's go to Hello Work. Hello Work. Awesome as Kaboom Cheer. He says, you play an M&M's game? I swear you did it with Super Tub. I don't remember ever playing an M&M's game. No, I don't think so. Yes, good evening, everyone. we got music records. we got Gorilla Pimp. Everyone's saying hello. Good evening to you all. Welcome to the stream. Let's go back to our best classes for this epic Super Dungeon fight. Can I help you? So, Kasuga, we definitely have to have him go back to being the hero. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And we're going to actually have him stay in the hero costume. He looks so stupid. Um, so, Jungi Han, his default is Hitman. Now, we had him max out host, but with Hitman, see, he would get less HP, but more MP. Healing would go way up, but he doesn't heal, so it wouldn't matter. His attack would go down, his defense would go down. His magic would go slightly up. Um, his dexterity would go down. Electric resistance would go up. So it's kind of a trade-off. It doesn't really matter if you look at the stats. Like, either one is good. Um, keep in mind, though, as a host, he's going to have way more elemental abilities. As a hitman, he's limited to mostly physical stuff. So I'm almost thinking that host is the way to go. The, the classic Jungi outfit. Okay. Reset the wager? I did it too early. Why would I reset the wager? What are you talking about? Alright. So. We've got Adachi. Who maxed out Enforcer. Right? And then went back to Host. If you take a look. If we go back to Enforcer. HP will go up. Attack will go up. Defense and Magic will go up. But his healing will go way down. But again, he doesn't heal. Agility will go way down. But Dexterity goes up. Ice up. Electric down. There's a big HP difference, though. Like, he basically becomes like a big tank. Right? But, he definitely will not have as many abilities. He definitely will not have as many abilities. This is a tough call. This is a tough call. Um... I think I'm going to go with Enforcer. It's probably the bad choice, but I'm going to do it, I think. Well, I'm going to wear a security guard's outfit, too. Everyone's going to look stupid. Uh, okay. Nanba. Obviously, we're going to just have him go right back to the homeless guy. That's the one that everyone agrees is his best class. And he's a nurse now. Uh, Zhao? Zhao's best class is probably Gangster. We maxed him at Chef. And if we go back to Chef, almost everything maxes out. Look at that. Almost every stat goes up. Just attack goes down. So I think we're going to go back to Chef. Okay. Psycho. Whew. Well... She hasn't maxed anything. Oh, yeah, she did. She maxed the Night Queen. Because we had her doing that. Remember, she wasn't in this fucking stupid sexual outfit. We have her in a different outfit. Um, Night Queen. Wow, all the stats go up. All of them go up. But with Idol, she gets the group heal spell. And that's what I'm kind of thinking is she needs the group heal spell. That's going to be very important for her and for Kasuga to be able to group heal in this dungeon. So even though her stats go down, I think we have to go with Idol. I think that's the way to go. Uh. We'll go with this. Okay. And then Aerie. 
She maxed Hostess. And, she, oh, okay, well, see, now again, this is a tough decision. As a Hostess, she's going to have good elemental abilities. But as the Clerk, she's going to have those crazy good group hits, like the thumb thumbtacks. We're going to stick with Clerk. Now we're sticking with Clerk. Oh, man, I can't decide. I will go with that. Okay. So I think we've picked the best classes. I do. I think do these are going to be the best there. overall classes. Now let's re-equip, of course. He's got the legendary bat. Now, greatly increases decreases MP cost of skills. We're going to want this because he's going to be constantly using orbital strike. But what's the other item we're going to want? Wasn't there one that completely stops our uh, status ailments? I think there is. It's that colorful thing, right? Yeah, there it is. Knows all he cannot have a status ailment against him. There we go. Now. He's a host. So the Voltaic Yellow Wine. Actually, isn't the I was gonna say, isn't the prestige better? It is. Give him the prestige. Everything else is gonna stay. We don't need the Yakuza training year. We don't want the Yakuza training year. We don't want these things to nerf them. When they're in this final dungeon. We want things that are going to boost them. Take a look at this. Let's get rid of that. Wait, what? I want to... How do I remove? I guess you can't. I don't see a remove. Because what I want to do is I want to find something that's going to be good. It's going to make all the stats go up. But what else do we want? I have two different things that prevent enemies from appearing on the streets. This would make his HP go up. Uh, MP would go up. Attack bonus of, of 15 to 20. Yeah, it's like 20. No big deal there. Healing up. Rest of chainmail. Those are defense up. Insoles or agility up. Expert Gloves, Kamaki Gloves. Oh, wow. 40 Dexterity. That's huge. I might go with the Kamaki Gloves. 40 Dexterity is really good. I don't care if there's only one thing. It's not going to help. You know, I need something that's generic that'll affect everything. Yeah, I'm going to go with the one that was, uh, what was it, 40 dexterity? Let's find it. There it is. We're going to go with the Kamaki Gloves. Okay. And then what do I want for this? Oh, shit. It's a tough call, honestly. Maybe it's like max agility, so maybe transcendent insoles. Okay. So the bulletproof shield is the best thing I have for him. I don't want the Yakuza training gear. Hell no. What's up, Jayhawk? Well, good evening. Oh, a few contributions have come in here. Onion Knight. Onion Knightis has resubscribed for nine months. Is good luck, Phil. Thank you, Onion Knightis. Kate resubscribed for 37 months. And happy 37 months, Phil. Thank you, Kate. Uh, awesomeness Kaboom Cheers has put the Haruka outfit on one of the females. No, that's stupid. All Things Famous gifted a sub to Ciara Bahiana. Congratulations, Ciara Bahiana, on the gifted sub. Okay. Oh, shit. Boost critical hit rate. This decreases MP cost, but not by a lot. Maybe we'll have him recover a little bit of MP each turn, and... Uh, he's basically a tank style character but the problem is there's no way to really agitate the enemies to make them only attack him so he can't really be a tank like there is no real tank class in this alright fucking give him this there oh wait I unequipped the other thing oh what did I do I unequipped the other fucking thing Isn't there, yeah recover the MP there we go alright here he goes again he's back to this crazy ass thing yeah, boost HP by 30, MP by 15. That's good. 
But now, what else do I want to put on him? Maybe magic? Oh, because he's going to be using magic every turn, pretty much. All right, let's do it. Jeweled bracelet. Magic up by 20. Okay. Thank you, uh, Julie Blue. She said, I hope Kat and I are having a good night. Kat is relaxing right now. We, she, we had, she had a very busy day at work. Came home, ate. We had to clean up the house and do stuff together. And now she's just relaxing downstairs while I stream, so... She's actually starting near the end of Persona 5. I don't know if she's going to play any tonight. Okay. Also, Miss Kaboom cheered again. He said, shout out to, to Derek. Hashtag, or at DarksidePhil. Oh, is he here? Well, good evening, Derek, if you are here. Hello, Big Old Bean. Good evening to you as well. Good evening to Lean and Go Squeak. Good evening to everybody. Okay. We've done it. We're ready for action, I feel. Wait, did I equip everyone? Wait a minute. No, I didn't. I didn't equip everyone yet. That's the best ladle. Yep. He's got that Tiger Belt. MP increased by 80. Oh, shit. That's a lot. Um. I don't know. Champion's Ring. Yes, her best mic is the Revival mic. Is now better than the Bastard Soda. And she's good. Because she's still learning the job. So I'll leave the Dreamy Signature on her, actually. And she's already set. Yeah, she's already equipped to the max. All right. All right, so, who boy. We are ready to go locked and loaded. We need to rest, obviously, and get maxed out stats here. But after that, we're going to Millennium Tower. So where can we go to rest? Forget. Uh, We need to go to, uh, what's it called? Survive Bar, right? Go sleep at Survive Bar. All right. Also, Miss Kaboom tried again. He said the new Fall Guys update looks super fun. Pinball machine. Oh yeah. Well, we're gonna be playing it this weekend. We are. I'm gonna play it at some point this weekend. I'm not sure exactly what day, but I will check give it a, a look. So, should I grab these? Oh my God, I haven't grabbed these in a hundred years, huh? Pansy. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother. No, I want to harvest. In it for the long haul. Potatoes. Potatoes. I think there's only two, right? Okay, let's go in. Let's go in and rest. Potatoes. All right, everyone's ready. Let's rest. Ellipsian says, yes, having idle class in your party is pretty much mandatory for the final dungeon. I figured as much. I figured idle and him between the two. Having two very strong healers is the way to go. Having only one, I figured that would not be enough. Awesome, Miss Kaboom cheered again. He said, sing like a butterfly one more time on karaoke? No. All right. Let us do this. Back to Kamurocho Moot Millennium Tower, yeah. Let's do it. Uh, Lean and Go Squeak, I'm not sure what day you're even talking about. Are you talking about today or are you talking about yesterday? I already talked about all that on the pre-stream, so. Alright, smartphone. Here we go. <laughs> uh, 10,000 drums, thanks for the cheer It's incredibly creepy what you just said And no, you will not be doing anything Addressing me or talking to me If you actually do work for a landscaping company But I don't believe that at all It's bullshit This definitely wasn't here before Alright It's as tall as the Millennium Tower And that itself is huge Hey, would you bungee jump off the top for a million yen? Are you <laughs> kidding me? I wouldn't even go up to the roof I'd do it Oh yeah? You good with heights? Nope Scared shitless. <laughs> but knowing me, I'd pass out the moment I jumped as a defense mechanism, you see. Then they'd hoist me up like a rag doll, and I'd wake up a millionaire. How smooth. I wouldn't give you the money on principle. 
Okay. Fear of heights. All right, so. Let's see here. Oh, where's Millennium Tower? Why am I confused about this? Why can't I find Millennium Tower? Wait a minute. Why am I so confused? I swear I know exactly where it is, but now I don't remember. Hold on. Maybe I don't remember where it is. That's not it. Right? <laughs> Why am I not remembering where the hell Millennium Tower is? What is, why am I having a I'm having a complete brain fart right I'm having a complete brain fart about where it is it used I swear it was here but it's not there on the map what the hell why am I so confused I'm having like I seriously Millennium Tower Street is right here isn't it okay that's it right there okay I was like it's right there. I said, why can't I find it? Because, you know, it doesn't look like a tower. It's just like a block. Okay. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Um, also, Ms. Kaboom Cheers and Massive X on the screen. Yeah, well, there's two. This is the standard tower dungeon. This is the super dungeon. 10,000 drums. I Seriously, I mean this now. I want you to understand something. All right? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm being very honest here. All right, I want you to think about this. If you're employed by any company, whether it's a landscaping company, a company that trims hedges, a company that works on alarm systems, a company that works on roofing, siding, a company that does anything at all, all right? Your job is to do that and that alone. Your job is not to bother the people who are living in the places where you're doing this work. Especially here, you're contracted to do the work for a large group of people, correct? Right? It's a group, a giant group of houses here, connected here in our community. If you go out of your way to try to talk to one of the people there that you've already violated what you're doing there for. You've broken the rules of your job. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're actually putting yourself in jeopardy saying this right now. If you really work for a company who's going to do work, by the way, I'm not aware of any work that's going to happen in my community or anything in the next couple of weeks. But if there is, and you actually work for a company coming here, and you're going to put your job at risk to come and talk to the people who live here, like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, I could see if, like, for example, okay, the landscapers who, who come here, they come here once a week regularly. And they come and maybe maybe there's some people here who walk around, they know them and they have a conversation. That's different. If you're here, oh, we're contracted just once to come do a job. We're here to clean your gutters. Oh, we're here to cut your to cut your, your hedges. We're here. Why are you going to try to talk to the people who live here? Especially, just, oh, because I know you from the internet and I want to talk to you. Like, what? Like, do you understand the immense amount of risk you're putting yourself in? You could lose your job. Why would you want to do that? Right? Like, my God. <laughs> anyway, what I'm guessing is that this guy does not really work for any company who's going to work here or whatever. By the way, I hate to tell you this, if, if you did work for a company like that, and you publicly went on the internet and stated that, you've already, uh, basically, you're going to get fired. Like, you can't do that. You're basically revealing private information about stuff going on here. It's not allowed. So I really hope this is not someone who works for some company who's actually going to be coming here because not a good idea. Seriously. <clears throat> Not a good idea at all. Alright, anyway, Jay Hawkwood Cheers says, you consider yourself a Karen. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, you fucking idiot. Okay. Okay. Let us now head into the true final Millennium Tower. Oh, actually, hold on. Let me save. Holy shit. Save up. There we go. Good evening, uh... Uh, Derek, it's good to see you. Alright, so now you're permanently banned from the stream. So, yeah, this is just a troll anyway. I was a fucking idiot. Goodbye. <laughs> fucking moron. <clears throat> Alright. Let's enter. 
<laughs> Major Riot just cheers that Chef Boyardee is not for the bumble-footed or the wobble stomach. Phil impresses the landscaping crew by devouring cans of Chef Boyardee, of course. So these guys are going to become the robots, all right? We need to use electricity to shock the fuck out of these guys right away. Let's see if we can get past the first group. Okay. Watch me. All right, we gotta go straight to fulminating forecast. The fury of nature. That's good. That's good. All right, straight to orbital laser. Shock these fucks. Okay. They have so much health. This is ridiculous. We're hitting them with their weakness, and we're What's barely this? doing a dent on them. So he uh, he has fulminating forecast, but he also has his other ability called electromagnetic storm. I don't know if that would do any more damage. He says they're both extreme. I wonder if one would do better than the other. I'm just gonna go with fulminating forecast. Okay. Bring it on. Well, they're still paralyzed. Take this. Oh, thunder. <laughs> get serious. Don't get caught. They're still paralyzed. Well, you got two fulminating forecasts back to back. You have to attack twice. There you go. <laughs> wow. Almost insta killed him. Okay, we killed the first group. Yeah, Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah. That was rough. They hit fucking Nanba for almost his entire health bar. <laughs> Jesus. Auto recover. Oh my god. That was rough. I don't know. So that's definitely some progress. Can we fight? Can we win another fight? I don't even know. I seriously don't even know if we could win another fight after that. That was crazy, man. I guess we'll try to keep going and see what happens. All right. There they are. Oh boy. Watch me. So what are they weak to? Let's go. He's weak to physical. Don't get cocky. He they're both weak to electricity oh, apparently. Serious. I got this. You yeah, so I'm just using another fucking formulating forecast. You're in Made your attack go up. Oh my god. Uh. He's weak yeah. to it. Ultimate stack slap. Let's try this. Yuri. Miss! You fucking serious? Fucking miss. That's not good, man. Ugh. I'm upset already. I'm upset already. Bring it on. I got the green. I got this. Pigeon migration. Three thousand, thirty-three hundred to him. Ugh. He's weak to S of assassin die. Neither of them are weak to the Champagne Wave, and neither of them are weak to the Rose Typhoon. So I can do another Fulminating Forecast, but outside of that, I can't really do much else. 
right? Oh. He's weak to shield rupture. He's weak to hell's wheel. Oh, he's hell's wheel. Still paralyzed. Three of us fell asleep? Oh my god. Three of us. Oh my god! You've got to be shitting me! That was one attack! What the fuck? Damn it. Wow. That was one attack. I, my, my honest question is, how are you supposed to beat this dungeon? If the enemies all are that powerful and they could all insta-kill you, if they ever hit Kasuga, you lose, right? Damn it. Damn it. So, I don't know. I honestly, I don't know if this is even atta attainable, right? Is this even an attainable goal? Without me grinding for another two months and maxing out three, four job classes with each person, I don't know if this is attainable, right? Medrius says use Peerless Resolve with Kasuga every turn, then you can never attack, right? Hey there, babe, says you need to max out three jobs for everyone. Oh my god. Uh, I'm getting rid of some trolls. Some annoying fucking trolls are being stupid here tonight. Local Nomad cheered. So can you turn followers only mode on if not already? Yeah, I, mean, I get the feeling we're going to need to. There seems to be a lot of trolls tonight. Uh, so I think we are going to turn on followers only mode. Since there's no moderators to help me. Okay, I turned it on. Oh, uh, Major Raya had cheer talking about more Chef Boy RD. Thanks, Major Raya. Uh, on J Lee took me two dollars. So Ignore any detractors. Let's have a chill stream. Thank you, On J Lee. I appreciate that. That's the biggest tip of the night. As you can see, I'm not paying any attention to them, but I do have to ban them when they pop up. Okay. Oh, and Lu oh, I already did. Okay, local nobody. I already shouted you out for uh, saying that I should turn on the uh, followers only mode. Ladies and gentlemen, I think, I think we've determined it's official. Uh, no, I I can't make any progress in the super dungeon. So I think we got to pay out. The answer is we'll fill progress in the super dungeon. No, I can't right now. So to the only twenty two percent of people who voted no with that wager, you won. I can't. There's no way I can make any progress. I can't have it where Kasuga can instantly die every, every time. So, we have two options. Completely quit and say forget it. Or grind more. Like, that's really the only options we have available to us. Yeah. I guess what we'll do for tonight, all we can do is grind, right? We'll grind, we'll talk, we'll have a chill stream tonight like we usually do when I play Yakuza. Which means we gotta go back to Hello Work and change our jobs back. Um, and it's, I guess what I'll say is I'll leave it up to you guys to decide you like, do you like doing this late night once a week? Or do you feel, do you guys feel that this has run its course and tonight should be the final night that we play it? Do you feel that even though this was a fun staple chill stream for about a month and a half, do you think that this is pretty much, you don't care for it anymore? You don't want to see me grind anymore to try to do this? Or is it the opposite? Are you guys, you like the chill streams, you want to keep going? <clears throat> Let's do a poll. We can do a poll. Let's do a poll. Let's actually, hold on. Let me get out of the street so I don't get attacked when I'm setting up the poll. You know, you guys are watching on YouTube as well. Your input's valuable to me. Obviously, you're not here for the live stream, but I know you watch every week on YouTube. So if you could also let me know. Obviously, you can't tell me in the comments of the video because there are none. 
But if you could email me, darksidephilhotmail.com, or post up on my Twitter, at DSP. Let me know what you think, okay? Uh, all right, let's do a poll. So. Alright, send up the poll right now for you guys to vote. Let's do it for since since it's gonna be a bit, let's do it ten minutes, okay? Here it is. Keep grinding or drop the game. People are gonna vote right now and we're gonna see how people vote and it'll determine what we do, maybe. Or at least give us an idea, okay? Uh Love Detective Chica did a hundred bit cheers. Is it possible to change to Call of Duty? If we if if we decide not to play this again, then yes, I could play more Call of Duty, or we could do something else late nights for the week that I played, or for the uh, weekly session that I've been playing this. Tonight, no. I'm not just going to switch to Call of Duty out of nowhere. No one expected me to play Call of Duty tonight. So itchy. Including me. And I don't want to just switch over like that on the fly. I am playing it as the major stream on Saturday, and I will play it again as a night stream at some point coming up. So, no. The answer is no. <clears throat> We'll not switch to Call of Duty tonight. Uh, oh, Microsoft Stan cheered, asking, where is Anonymous? Uh, he's been suspended by, from Twitch, and I don't know if and when he's coming back. Here's your answer. I, you, you want more information? Talk directly to him via other methods, because, you know, he can't come on to Twitch at all. Um, Xenocock has tipped me $4.20. That is the biggest tip of the night now. Let's get him up on the leaderboard. Is Xenocock? Zena Kak? Zena Kak? I don't know how to say his name. It's probably Zena Kak. So thank you for that. That gets up to $8 a tip so far tonight. And guys, I apologize. I wanted to do the Super Dungeon. Uh, if Kazuka's going to die with one hit, there's nothing I can do. You know? It just seems ridiculously overpowered. Alright, so Microsoft Stan just earned himself a ban for talking shit. Also, Miss Kaboom just cheers says you can do it if you protect yourself. Yeah, but no, I can't. There's no way. If they're going to kill all my party members at one hit. Every single one of my party members is going to die with one hit. I can't do that. Can I help you? I have to get my defense up. So I guess I have to keep working the other jobs. You know, try to max the other jobs and get them high enough so that <clears throat> the, the overall defense is, like you, like someone said, hey, they're said, you have to max at least three different classes. At least three. That's just crazy, but I guess it. he's right. You know? So let's go back to Hitman, try to get him maxed. Yikes. Alright, let's have him go back to host. I'm going to say look, looking like a security guard, though. Uh, Ampact just did a, a, a 1,050 bit cheer. He says, very I'm getting very long in the tooth. I love chill streams, but man, this is a rough grind for the bragging rights. It surely seems like it's crazy, doesn't it? I mean, I literally gave a lot of effort. It's not like, oh, Phil just gave minimum effort. I tried for the last... I, this was what, I think I want to say it was five straight streams of grinding. Where every week we just kind of chilled and talked and grinded. So you're talking, you know, 10 plus hours of excessive grinding. And I'm not even close to being able to, uh, to have one hit without dying yet. Like, holy shit, man. That's pretty nuts. So, Impact, I'm with you. Like, I listen, the thing is, I actually like the chill streams we've been doing. I've been having a lot of fun with them. So, if you guys wanted the chill streams to continue once a week, I would definitely consider doing it. Okay? But, obviously, there comes a point when people might get bored of it. So, I'm going to kind of leave that to you guys to determine. Okay? That's why people are voting. All right. She has to stay as the idol because she's, she's best, trying to do okay. that. Yeah. Because everyone else is good. Now we just got to make sure the equipment is correct again. He goes back to the katana. Yeah, the katana is the best one. He went back to the dragon knuckles, which are the best one. Yep. He's back to the prestige. Yep, the best host. And he could go to the Damascus ladle now because we switched. 
everything else stays the same. All right, more grinding. Hoi. Uh, awesome is Kaboom cheering again. Awesome is Kaboom cheering a ton tonight. So, he says the last yeah, boss of the super back. dungeon, it's, it's that guy Amor again. He sends all the main bosses of the series at you at once. What? Seriously? Like, you have to fight all the different bosses in, like, a gauntlet? Holy shit, that would be pretty cool. But, I don't know, you know, I would love to do that. But, again, I need to be able to absorb more than one hit before everyone dies. So, it's kind of a problem. Okay. Welcome to Snap City. Cheers. You busted your ass on the game. I don't think anyone blames you if you drop it, even if the, it's even the haters. See, here's the thing. You're right. I did bust my ass to try to grind, but I don't mind it. Again, if you guys wanted me to, 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 to try to grind more, and we have a weekly chill stream of this once a week, just hanging out and chilling, you know what I mean? Uh, I'd be all for it. to the sewers. Some people are accusing fraud of the poles. Fraud in the poles. Living Dead Girls says, I only watch you play this in Divinity, so I guess if I stop playing this, it would be one less thing that they would watch me play. That's kind of sad, huh? Wait, Divine Shot hits everyone? Yeah. Take this. Take this. I'm up! Huh? Eyes on me. Let's go! Right through the heart. Wait a minute, I did the wrong one. I did Rose Stinger. That's the weak one. I wanted the one that hits everyone. Oops. Completely wrong move. Let's go! Bring it on. Have fun with this. Hunger and lightning! Stab them with the balls. Kind of messed up. Right in the nuts. See, I I wish you could transfer your save over. It sucks that the PS5 version came out. You can't transfer your save over. It's a bummer. I would love to see this game running at 60 frames and some better graphics, but. It's not to be. Okay. Woo! You can on the Xbox? Eh. It's lame that you can't do it on PS4 to PS5. What can you do, though, right? Alright, back to this grind. Also, this Kaboom Chase, if you want to beat it, you need to give Namba the guitar class. That's most OP for Namba. That's not what it said. The entire playthrough people told me that it was the Homeless Guy class that's the most OP. But we could do that next. Remember, you, you, gotta, you gotta have three max classes, so I guess maybe I could switch from... Once he maxes, the chef switch over to the guitarist or musician. And do that, I guess. Derek says, growing up, did I have any favorite Dr. Seuss movies? There were no Dr. Seuss movies when I was growing up. The first Dr. Seuss movie was The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, and that was when I was fucking... In my 20s already. You, you severely overestimate or underestimate how old I am. Um, but if you're talking about in general, like Dr. Seuss, I love the, the Grinch Who Stole Christmas animated movie. It's actually amazing. I love that one. And not the new one. We're talking the old one. All right. The original. Me, there's only one. <laughs> so I like horror movies. Yes. Well, let's go. You're weak. Get alive. Oh, 
Take this. Take this your best shot. Let's go. I got Good, Good times. Duh! The QE Insider. Just cheer said, Anonymous is at QE Farms right now posting screenshots of the mod Discord. Do you have any comment before I publish my story? This is hilarious. So, for the last few days, this is just so good. For the last few days, all right, I've been getting messages from tons of people. I'm getting messages saying, Anonymous is a secret detractor, and he's about to blow everything open over on Kiwi Farm. I got people who are saying, only Ice Coffee is a secret detractor, and he's really behind the scenes. He's been doing all this nasty stuff to this and that. It's like, oh my god. Like, seriously, I just gotta be, I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Like, are you guys fucking four years old? Like, really? Like, it's so stupid. So basically, the poll went, and 60, let me see here. 64% of people who voted in the poll said they're, they're tired of this. They're tired of the grind. Okay. I can't see. I want to see the other votes. I can't. You can only see what one, I guess. Um. So anyway, um, it's hilarious because I everyone just wants to start drama, and here I am, right? I'm on a stream. I'm playing games. I'm having fun. If you haven't, you guys haven't noticed, absolutely like no drama has happened on my streams over the last week or two. There's been nothing. No drama. People are insistent on trying to create drama, right? You see, you know, only as coffee comes to the stream every once in a while, says hello, every once in a while contributes, no drama, everything's fine, right? That anonymous behind the scenes, is he banned from Twitch? Well, I don't know if he's banned, I think he's suspended. Sucks that it happened, I don't really know what happened there. Or I don't know the ins and outs of the situation. But outside of that, had contact with him, you know, no drama, no problems. He insists, he's like, no, none of this is true, it's just stupid shit, people are trying to get, get me in trouble and stuff and all this nonsense. So... All this stuff, and I'm like, so exactly what exactly do you want me to do with this or about all of it? Like, do you really think I care? First of all, do you really think I care? Like, here's the truth of the matter, all right? Is there behind-the-scenes discussion with my moderators? Yes, of course there is. Of course we talk behind-the-scenes in the streams about stuff going on. Is there anything that's, like, insanely controversial, oh my god, jaw-dropping, over-the-top, super-secret stuff? No! <laughs> Nothing! We have the most mundane conversations. Sometimes we share pictures of each other's pets. Sometimes we talk a little bit about, oh, this person was was banned and they applied for uh, an unbanned fill, what do you think, or whatever. You know, the most mundane, bland, so there's no clandestine secret behind the scene goings on with me and my moderator. If you, if you guys were to see a transcript of everything we Let's talk go. about behind the scenes, you would be bored to fucking tears. There's nothing interesting at all that goes on behind the scenes with us. Seriously. Like, there's nothing that we talk about that would be anything interesting. At all. It's the most mundane stuff, and it's just about stuff going on on the streams with people and, and, and stuff like that like that's it and maybe every once in a while oh my god geez that was a rough stream there were a bunch of trolls what happened with that and thanks for helping and this and that that's it that's it there's not what is the secret ridiculous again clandestine things that people think are happening behind the scenes that are like oh my god this is it one of the moderators is going to go rogue and going to drop logs that are going to blow the lid off of everything first of all the lid off of what and number two, there's well, no lobs of what? There's just no, 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 nothing no, no. that could possibly be revealed that the moderators talk about behind the scenes. That's anything that anyone would care about. It's boring. Oh, it's it really boring. is. It's insanely boring. I just like I just don't understand why anyone even cares. I really don't because yeah. see, here's the thing: when you don't have access to something, you think, oh, it's juicy drama, and there's all this information. There's, it's none of, there's nothing like that. Anything that we talk about behind the scenes has nothing whatsoever like that at all. You know? <laughs> it's just the most dumbest shit. If, if someone literally went to get chat logs of everything that the moderators and I talk about and just literally dumped it all on the internet right now, it would do nothing. There's nothing there. It's, it, it, so that's what a hilarious well, Phil, are you afraid? What are you going to do about this? Aren't you? No. I'm not afraid at all. There's no point to any of this. There's, it's completely stupid. It's just drama queens trying to start drama where drama doesn't exist because they're bored because there's nothing going on drama life. Anywhere, right? 
It's so dumb. It's so fucking oh, stupid. Thunder. And all the dumb shit, right? All the dumb sh Oh, did you see the dumped the dumped chat logs of this one? Did you see the chat logs of that one? Yeah, nothing proves anything. All of that shit is easily fakeable. Easily. I could do it if I wanted. That takes some effort. I have to actually download a program to do it. I could fake all that dumb shit. Like, people are just so dumb and gullible. I just don't understand why people are so stupid. You know? I really, like... I just shake my head and like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're causing drama that doesn't exist. Like, I don't... It, it would, listen, if a moderator of mine turns out to be someone who's dishonest and wants to hurt me behind the scenes for whatever reason, I couldn't fathom why because, you know, I talked to all my moderators and they're like, if there's one person there who hates me secretly for some odd reason, yeah, that would be very disheartening, of course. It's happened before. If you guys remember years ago, we had a moderator that catfished everyone. They actually lied about their name, their gender, and everything about... They made up a whole invented online persona. They did. They invented... It was crazy to think that they went to that extent, but they did. They created an entire online persona for someone that didn't exist and told us all for a year that's who they were. So they, they attended streams. They were a nice influence on the stream. They ended up becoming a moderator. And for a year impersonated this other person. And after a while, all of a sudden one day, one of my moderators says, Phil, we just got word or, or you know, kind of got a little bit of insider info that so-and-so is about to try to fuck you over and get you banned from Twitch. So I said, I can't imagine how. Let me take a look. So this was years ago, by the way. Back then, I actually used to give my moderators access to uh, the bot. Now, back then, I don't remember. I think it was Nightbot back then. Because remember, we used different ones. We used Nightbot. We also used Moobot. Right? But I think it was still, it was Nightbot. And this particular person had access to do stuff with Nightbot. So they had gone and literally programmed into Nightbot like 10, 12, 14 commands that were all nasty detractor memes about me. And some of them were racist things and stuff. So I think what their goal was is that they wanted to have me come on a stream with a lot of viewers, like tell all the haters, come to this stream, you're going to see why. And then they were going to sit there and activate all the commands. So the bot was going to sit there and spew racist stuff and get me banned from Twitch. Like, I think that's what the I think that's what the plan was, okay? But the whole plan leaked. I knew about the whole thing. Um, and basically stopped it. I put it, I fired, okay, ban that person. They're not mod anymore. Uh, changed all the chat commands so no one could use them. And it was sad because this was a person who people have come to know and trust over the course of over a year on the streams. And we had to say goodbye to them because they're a fucking idiot who's secretly plotting to, to do this shit all along. So this was like, I want to say this was like three, four years ago, by the way. You know? Is it sad? Yeah, it's sad that someone's number one, a, a big enough loser, that they actually did this to people. They actually pretended to be someone they weren't. And people liked that person, befriended that person, and then find out that person doesn't even exist. Right? They're just a faker. Uh, it's pretty fucked up. And on top of that, of course, the fact that they had literally wasted over a year of their time to try to secretly get me banned from Twitch from shit that I wasn't responsible. I didn't do any of that. Obviously, you guys know me. I don't say racist stuff. I don't do fucked up stuff on Twitch. But this person maliciously planning on doing this. Um, oh, the final tally was 114 no, 50 yes, 8. Dr. Seuss is canceled. Okay. So more than half. Basically, two, more than two times the amount of people voted no that they're kind of bored of this grinding. And they don't really want to see it anymore. That's, that's what I was pretty much wondering. So if you guys are watching this on YouTube... Okay, and you like the take weekly take grinding this. sessions I've been doing in Yakuza and the chill streams we have around them, please contact me with an email me, darksidephilohotmail.com, or you can tweet me at they call me DSP. Let me know what you think if you want to see it continue as well, because it is important to get everyone's feedback on that. Okay. Like let me let me put it this way. I wouldn't mind it. At the same time, I totally understand why people are, are bored with it. And and yeah, like I get it. You know, to a point, how, how long are we going to fucking do this, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Watch me. Yes, Majin Buu, you missed it. We tried the final dungeon. I died instantly. I beat, I beat the first group of enemies. We got to the second group. The guy ran up and hit Kasuga, insta-killed him, game over. So, with, even with a month and a half of grinding that we've done... It wasn't enough. What I'm actually being told is you need to max around three jobs. Hey there, babe, anyway. I said, yeah, if you really want to do it, you have to maximize around three jobs. 
and then you can at least survive the hit so that if someone gets hit then you can heal and continue on but yeah apparently even with the month and a half of grinding over 10 hours it wasn't enough pretty bad huh so that's what i mean like that i just did a poll do people want to see me continue to do this post game grinding for another several weeks maybe another month and then try it again or are we done you know i mean it's just ridiculous what they're, they're expecting you to have to do this it's nuts how long do you want me to grind it's fucking ridiculous <sighs> All right. I'm up. You're in for it now. Get ready now. Okay, let's see here. Oh, no, do it. It's go time. Nice. Uh, all right. So we've got a bunch of cheers here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. So, also, this Kaboom Chiri said, I advise you to skip all thugs, just kill Vagabonds. It'll go quicker. What are you talking about? I can't just go to the Vagabonds. Like, I don't know what you mean. I have to go through all these people, right? I can't just magically, magically pass through these people, right? Uh, Timbo Slice said, what was for dinner? Was it yummy? It was just a frozen Asian... Excuse me, a frozen orange chicken Asian style stir fry dish. We had to do something quick because Cat was working. Melody Zelda Cheese, how much drama do you think you can get out of a guy who's in his PJs and plays video games all day? Again, they're still obsessing over their own conspiracy theories that at this point have now been running for over a year and they still can't get enough evidence to prove anything. <laughs> they're still trying. You know what I mean? Like, it's over a year and they're still trying despite the fact that. Things have happened that have indisputably proven that the things can't be true, you know? How could I have insane amounts of money spent on a mobile game if I had to show all my spending to my bankruptcy court last year and my bankruptcy was granted? Obviously, a bankruptcy court would not grant bankruptcy to someone who's shown that they've blown all their money on mobile games. People are fucking idiots to believe that. They're nuts. They just don't want to listen to the evidence. They just want to focus on circumstantial shit and things that have been fabricated to try to support this insane conspiracy theory that's not fucking true. Seriously, they're nuts. They're out of their minds with what they're saying, and they still keep pushing the same shit over and over. They're that dumb that they keep pushing the same narrative. They just won't let it go. Look at me go. So let them keep going. Let them keep saying they think they have something and wasting their time because, as you notice, I don't care about it. I don't talk about it on my streams anymore. It's a waste of everyone's fucking time. It really is. It's so it's just fucking stupid. <clears throat> okay. Um. Let's see here. Timbo Slice Street again. He said, we all know you and the mod spend all day gossiping about latest TMZ news while you sip on your coffee and read morning news. That's what I mean. And this thing, well... We have more secret Discord logs that are proof of this and that. No, you have nothing. You have absolutely fucking nothing. You have nothing. Because nothing can possibly exist because it's all fake. It's all bullshit. You got nothing. You can't possibly have any real evidence. All you can have is fabricated circumstantial shit that's not true. That's it. You can never have evidence of something that's not fucking true. Why do you think I'm not nervous? Because I don't care. Nothing can ever come out about anything because there's nothing to come out. People are that fucking stupid. God, it's just it's frustrating people are that dumb. <laughs> it really is. Yikes. Shout out to K Styles 1998 who resold for 52 months. I appreciate that. And then also this Kabuma said that I get his cheer. I did and I did read it out eventually. Just, I was backlogged on the cheers there. Okay. <laughs> you know, if anything though, if anything, what I can say is this. At the very least. The good news here is that nothing stupid, embarrassing, controversial, or dramatic has happened in like the last year and a half. That's a good thing. If they're still trying to harp on the same shit that they've been claiming for the longest time and still can't prove, that's a good thing. At least there's no new drama, there's no new bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm happy at least that if they really have to harp on old shit no one with a logical fucking brain cares about, at least that means that nothing else is, is, is happening that's, you know, Thank God I've kept my family safe. You know what I mean? Like, no new shit has come out at all. And that's a good thing. Let's <laughs> go. All right. 
Let's continue, shall we? Okay. Eyes on this. Nature is about to get furious. I got this. Let's go. Uh, I don't want to waste full mining forecast on him, but I don't really have any. Ah, fuck. What am I? What am I talking about? I don't want to waste. It. I'm gonna level up. I'm so stupid. I'm gonna level up anyway. It doesn't matter. Take this. The whole point is we're leveling up the job, so I'm gonna level up and get my hands back. It's not a way. Oh wow, I did a lot of damage now. Damn, I did actually did exceptional damage. I wasn't planning on doing that much damage. Nice. So Andre Lee to be two dollars. He's just, he, I guess Andre Lee's. I, I don't, you know, I know he hasn't been around for a long time. Um, and he's asking, I don't even understand. Like, what would be the controversy if you played mobile games and spent money on them? All right. The narrative that these idiots want to spin. Yeah, I want to talk about this all night. Here's the narrative that they want to spin. Okay. They want. Oh, my job's going up. Okay. They want to believe that I'm some kind of a crazy addict and that I sit around spending money on mobile games constantly. And that's why I had to declare bankruptcy and all of this shit. And basically what they, what they it is, because I've told you guys a hundred times, you know, it's not me. This Whatever this, the situation is around this fucking mobile game that he bring up, it's definitely not me. Uh, I don't know who the fuck it is. I don't know if it's an impersonator who purposely used my name to try to get me in trouble. Um, I don't know if it's someone who just had bad fucking luck and accidentally had the same name as my Twitter handle. Because the, the other thing that I've, I've thought about is if this guy really wanted to impersonate me, why wouldn't he just call himself Dark Side Phil or DSP Game? Why is it that it was my Twitter handle that was used? And that's what's kind of sus uh, suspect about the whole situation for me is if someone was really trying to, like, I'm DSP, then they would have used, like, my real full names that I use on my major accounts. They wouldn't have used just my Twitter handle. So I almost get this at first. I mean, there's all these different theories. One theory is that this guy was just bad luck, had the wrong name, and these idiots want to believe this guy is me. So then after that, all these conspiracy theories come out and all this fucking fabricated evidence. Oh, look, here's chat logs of this guy talking and all this shit, none of which is me at all. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Like, how can I, how can I prove or disprove something that's not me? I have nothing that I can show anyone or prove to anyone that would prove or disprove anything. It's just bullshit. And the thing is, if it, I were to, for example, try to show any kind of information about mobile games that I played in the past, all that would happen is that would be the next thing. The goalposts would be moved and shit like that. Or people would use information that I give you to try to, to clear my name or prove my innocence to hurt me further. This has happened where, oh, here, see, here's the evidence. Oh, wait, look, there's evidence of something else. That's a name. Maybe he logs into other things with that. Let's use that to fuck with him in other places and stuff. That shit's happened to me before. So my best course of action in the last year and a half has been just ignore it. Ignore the nonsense these idiots keep bringing up. There's no evidence of anything. There can't be because it's not real. Um... But their point is they're trying to basically try to act like I'm a liar. I'm, I'm a, I guess I'm, I'm kind of like a, an a, a addictive... Oh, I picked the wrong thing. I'm some kind of an addictive guy who spent all his money on mobile games and shit, which is not true at all. Uh, I've openly admitted that years ago, before I was in the bad financial situation that I've been in the last few years or so, that I used to actually play mobile games and spend money on them. I've openly admitted this. I've said, I used to play WWE uh, Supercard. And I played it for a while, and I grinded for certain events. And after doing it for a while, I felt that it was a complete waste of time. It was it was basically a time sink, a money sink. I didn't feel that it was worth anyone's time to really waste time on that shit. Because it was just basically a game you could only get ahead by spend, spend, spend. And then also spending an insane amount of time doing events and stuff. And that was honestly, even though, yes, I played other mobile games over the last several uh, years. And I stopped majorly when my wife was in here with me. Um... I haven't played anything consistently at all since she moved in a couple years. Oh, three years? Oh, my God. Three years ago. Time to let Yeah, she moved in 2018. Damn, it's been three years since my wife moved in with me. Time fucking flies, man. Um, But anyway, the point I'm making is, like, I've admitted the times in my past when I, I've stupidly spent money and did dumb shit. I have. So it's what they do is they take that and they say, so how can we make more drama about DSP today, right? How can we make him look bad? How can we do something? And that's it. Well, let's take that that nugget of truth that he offered up publicly to everyone and let's turn it into something it's not. Let's make it that, you know, he's this compulsive guy 
who, who blows all his money on this shit. And let's make it so that he lied to all his viewers. He lied to the bankruptcy court. He lied to everyone. Even though, again, I, this is what I keep telling everyone, all right? The ultimate proof that all of this is a lie is very simple, all right? Last year, I was granted bankruptcy to the bankruptcy court. I gave them all the information of everything I've spent. I gave them all the information of all the money I've made. I gave it all to them, and they asked me a ridiculous amount of questions about every piece of it, because when that was going on, these same people, these same insane conspiracy theorists, who swear there's going to be a smoking gun someday, somewhere, that's going to prove everything that they've fabricated about me, okay? They contacted the bankruptcy court and lied and gave them a ton of fake suppositions and fake circumstantial evidence about all of this. The same shit right now that you, that people still are talking about right now in the stream chat was was going over with a fine tooth comb by a fucking bankruptcy court. And at the end of the day, the bankruptcy court determined it was bullshit. And I was granted my bankruptcy. It's not real. It's not real. It's crazy. How can you even just... Oh, and the, you don't want to know their justification for this, which is absolutely hilarious. Well, they must be terrible at what they do. Yes, that's right. The judges involved, the people investigating the case involved, my bankruptcy lawyer, everyone who does that professionally for a living, right? This is what they do for a living. They would lose their jobs, lose their reputability, lose everything, all right? If, if they basically fucked up, right? If they, you know what I mean? They would all lose everything. And you think that they, oh, they just rubber stamp everything. Rubber stamp, rubber stamp, rubber stamp. These people are just so dumb. I just give up. So anyway, that's all it is. You have this drama. So now, oh, an, another moderator is going to, uh, is going to turn on Phil and he's going to expose all this behind the scenes information. There's no behind the scenes information. None. The only thing that any of my moderators could actually expose at all is our behind the scenes conversations that we have about these streams, the chat and how we moderate it. And a few a few pictures of pets and stuff like that. Nothing. There's nothing that could be exposed. So I don't care. Oh my god, one of the moderators is turning on Phil. Where? Where's the evidence? None of this. I've talked to the guy, he's like, no, this is bullshit. Basically, basically people are talking shit about me to try to get me in trouble with you. Uh, you know. At the same time, like I said, at the very same time that all that's happening, they're also trying to convince me that someone who's been a positive influence on the stream and a contributor also is against me. So let me get a moderator's against me, one of my top contributors and, and people who's nice to me on the streams is against me. Everyone's against me, right? The whole world's against Phil. Everyone, I should just believe this. The whole world is against Phil and everything, the sky is falling behind the scenes. All right, what's more likely? What's more likely? that all of this is true or these people are no life losers like they always have been and they're just trying to derail me from having fun on stream right because here we are an hour into stream and i had to just waste like 20 minutes answering questions because there's people who honestly come to the stream have no idea what i'm talking about and i gotta waste time talking about bullshit for 20 minutes instead of actually enjoying the stream so that's where i'm gonna end it as I can see, there's a bunch of more idiots in here. Uh, hmm. Let me go ahead here and ban it, these morons. <laughs> hmm. So dumb. I'm just going to ban these idiots. And, uh, you know, it's just it's just a waste of my time. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. There's nothing else going on. There, you know what I mean? This is so dumb. <laughs> it's so stupid. So, we got about an hour left to grind and chill and have a good time. And I'm done with this fucking topic. It's so dumb. It's a waste of everyone's fucking time. It's just hilarious they still won't give it up. I mean, it's only been over a year and nothing's happened. And you're still trying to fucking, you know... They're still chasing the fucking the clouds in the sky, yelling at the clouds. Idiots. <clears throat> Alright. So, there we go. Let's end that discussion and let's move on and talk about other shit. Fair enough? Okay. By the way.